Assalamu alaikum friends, my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Odoo Technical Developer. In today's video, I am going to talk about uh, how to configure Odoo 17 with PyCharm for development purpose. So first of all, we need to download PyCharm. Uh, right in the browser, download PyCharm Community Edition. Uh, click on the first link. So um, scroll at the bottom here on this uh, page. Uh, on the first page, it will show like uh, the professional uh, edition which is uh, paid so we need to download a uh, pycharm community edition which is free so just click on the download button and the downloading will get started so i have already downloaded pycharm so uh, i need to go to the download so here uh, we need to uh, extract uh, pycharm here so just extract it and uh, after extracting uh, this uh, pycharm file uh, we need to execute a command to uh, run the pycharm. So here uh, the, uh, the extracting started and let's just wait a few seconds uh, to complete the process. Okay, so it is completed. So let me go inside the folder uh, of pycharm and then bin. So here we have the file uh, like uh, uh, pycharm.sh. We need to open the terminal. Here we need to it like this uh, pycharm dot sh hit enter uh, so it will uh, track pycharm like this so here you can see so let's just wait for pycharm to get started so uh, click confirm button and then continue uh, you have the option to select any uh, choice so the pycharm gets started so here we need to add the pycharm to this favorite bar um, so you need to click uh, here to create the desktop entry here you need to uh, select these options to have to give the access to all the users so click ok and enter the password like this so authenticated so it will create a desktop entry and then uh, you can add uh, like uh, this uh, to this favorite bar okay so this is uh, how you can do it now uh, what we need to do is to add uh, this Udo project to this py charm. Uh, so here we have this uh, option to open a project, and here uh, just go to home and select Udo. So inside Udo, we need to uh, create the project for Udo 17 only. So click uh, select this 17 folder and click OK. So uh, so we need to uh, like click in trust Udo, trust this project. So uh, pycharm get started and uh, here we will see all the Odoo 17 files so uh, after that we need to create a configuration here uh, in this file so let's just wait for uh, loading all these files so uh, here you can see that um, all the files are related to Odoo that are inside the Odoo 17 uh, which is like Adams, uh, Debian and Odoo so Odoo bin so let me just uh, click here to open it as a full screen. So uh, here we need to add configuration in uh, uh, in the pycharm so that we can run it from here. But uh, here we cannot see any interpreter. So uh, we need to add the virtual environment that we have created uh, through the command line. So we need to go to here uh, to the configuration settings and then Python interpreter. So here we need to click on add uh, Python interpreter. So we need to click on existing because we already have uh, created a virtual environment so here click ok so here all the packages that we have installed that are required for Ubuntu 17 will uh, show up so click apply and then uh, click ok so uh, system will start loading all these uh, uh, packages and after that uh, after loading all these packages we will uh, be able to see it here okay so let's just wait for this to complete uh, the indexing and then we will come back so uh, the indexes has been updated. Let me create a configuration file here. Click add new, select Python. Here add a name for this uh, configuration file. So this uh, has been selected automatically. You can see uh, here we need to add uh, the bin file, uh, which is here under this directory. And uh, here we need to uh, add uh, something like uh, the working directory, which is Odoo 17. So here we need to add uh, the uh, configuration file path. So we can add like Debian and uh, odoo.conf. Okay, so 
so this is the configuration file path hit save and then ok so here you have the options to run the program from here so hit uh, click this uh, icon so the program gets started so if you go here and let me uh, go to localhost and run the voodoo so we will be able to see all the logs here and we will be able to see uh Odoo from the front okay so let me try to log in admin admin is the password for the demo database login uh, and here we can see we have logged in to Voodoo. this is the sage module tool that we have installed in the last video so here are uh, the logs and you will see all the logs uh, all the errors here okay so uh, these errors are just because of some file store missing so don't worry about it so this is it you can do development you can um, create any custom modules uh, from here and you can uh, just stop and restart auto from here so this is it for this video if you enjoyed this video please give us a huge thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you